know that the sun shining on green leaves gives them the power to make sugar and starch, which are both such essential ingredients in our own foodstuffs and also necessary to the growth of plants. These are beans germinating in the soil. You can actually see the growth of the plant, a three weeks process shown to you in a few seconds. That swaying movement means the stems are growing faster on one side than on the other. Here are kernels of wheat germinating. Watch the root hairs open as the first blades grow upwards. A little baby pine shedding its protecting sheep. In the early spring months, the new growth of pine has a much lighter shade of green than the old. And now we're going to take you on a journey of an eighth of an inch. A journey which, in spite of the short distance, will take nearly two minutes to complete. Here's an elodea leaf, such as you might have in your own aquarium. It's fixed on a slide of a microscope, and in a moment you'll be looking through the eyepiece while that leaf is slowly, mechanically moved across the lens. It's an eighth of an inch wide under this low magnification. We shall start on the right and go over the midrib towards the left. Now you're looking right through the leaf. The path of our journey is about the width of the point of a very sharp needle. You're passing innumerable cells, each with 20 to 70 little green chlorophyll grains going round and round. The sun shining on them in some unknown way gives them the power to break up the carbon dioxide in the air, combining it with sap, forming grape sugar and later changing it into starch. So out of a little water and a little air, the leaf manufactures its own food and an enormous surplus for us. That activity is going on in every leaf while the sun is shining on it. Remember, our whole journey has been one-eighth of an inch. 